traders are hoping to reopen schools by tomorrow. Across the country, school districts, they've been struggling to fill transportation jobs. It's everywhere. Illinois, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Iowa, like so many states experiencing a bus driver shortage. Maryland's Montgomery County schools are seeing the same issue brought on by the Omicron surge. It's so bad at one of Maryland's largest school districts, 200 drivers were requested from the Department of Emergency Management to fill in after workers tested positive for COVID. Dr. Earl Stoddard, Montgomery County Assistant Chief Administrative Officer, joining us right now. How big a problem is this when you decide to call on the National Guard to act as bus drivers? Is that what you're asking for? Yes, this is a highly unusual situation. We've never requested uh, state support for anything like this, including the National Guard. So obviously it's a significant problem for our school system and one we're trying to help them address. I, I mean, you think about it, it's like, you know, we need the National Guard for so many things, states of emergency. Now we need them to drive school buses. This had to be a last resort. What are you hearing from parents? Well, obviously I'm a parent myself in the county and so I have seen these shortages firsthand and I know that particularly our special needs students have been adversely affected. Students across the system have been adversely affected. And so obviously parents have had to band together to pool to get kids to school. Obviously some places are not very friendly for walking and so obviously it's been a very, it's been a challenge as we return to school from the holidays. Yeah, and, and obviously there are parents in certain neighborhoods where the bus is the safest way to get to school. It's the only way uh, for some working families, uh, working parents. So you have been reaching out to retired school bus drivers. We, we were hearing about this in our uh, in some of our hospitals. They're calling on retired medical staff to return. You're asking for veterans in the community who have commercial driver's licenses. How has that response been, if at all? So we're in the process of doing those things. We've got a number of different uh, ways that we're looking to get support, contracts. We've actually asked all of our neighboring counties whether they can help provide some additional support as well. So we're, we're sort of doing an all hands on deck search for opportunities for people to come in and help us who have the right licensure. I think that's the key thing here. Yeah. What happens if your emergency request for drivers is not granted? Well, so we're going to continue to look through uh, different mechanisms that we have available to us to try and find this resource. Obviously, at this point, you know, we'll have school open, um, you know, today and we'll have people cobbling together plans to, to make sure that we cover as many of the routes as we possibly can. And so it's going to be a difficult several weeks. I think that's the key thing here and trying to get trying to get through it. One more question for you. What would you like to see from parents? How can they help you help them? So parents have already been helping us, and I, I want to make that clear that, you know, there, we've heard a lot of uh, sort of angry and upset parents about the situation. We understand that. That's totally reasonable, and, and, and we expect it. But obviously, parents have already banded together and, and done the right thing and started to pool together and, and bus, you know, transport kids together uh, in, in their neighborhoods, reach out through their listservs and things like that, and try and coordinate for the students who don't have an option to get to school. And so we just ask for you know patience as we work through this. As you said, uh, this is across the country. There are places throughout, you know, throughout the systems across the country that are they're experiencing these shortages. And we know that you know it's going to be a difficult several weeks. And we, we understand that. Parents should understand that as well. All right, Dr. Olstadter, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And it's good to hear that people are rallying together, even though it's a very frustrating time. Thank you.